So this is the way I'm going to explain how to new jQuery and how it works. So jQuery is a fast, small and feature-rich JavaScript that is lightweighted and most importantly it's uh, allowed on most of the browsers. So we are going to create a Visual Studio application. I'm opening Visual Studio 2015. You can choose any of them like 2015, 2017 or 2019. Okay, so let's do the new project. Select the web application. Choose the path according to you. Rename it if you want. Okay. You, you will get the option select MBC because I'm doing the MBC application. So we don't have to uh, work for lots of references. It will be easy to create one. Okay. So it's uh, uh, like by selecting MBC, it is going to help us to automatically reference all the files in the system. I'm just going to run it. It's almost done. Okay. So if you see any kind of error after after running the application, you just have to do clean the solution and build again and then run. It will be resolved. This is a very common issue because the references that are that are being added in the system is not fully operational until you clean and build. So I'm running the application and it's uh, just front page going to load. Let's see. Okay, it's good now. So next next part I'm going to show you how we added jQuery in this in, in this application. So let's navigate to the scripts where jQuery is uh, resides. Like jQuery this uh, 1.1.102 uh, js and on the main file and if if this is not available then you could also navigate to jQuery.com and download the latest jQuery or you can also manipulate it because it's open source so you could you could go and change the uh, as you want so next part i'm going to show you how it's being used so let's go to the share layout file so you can see if i navigate to the bottom you can see the bundles for jquery is already included in the system where it's included it's app start bundle config.cs file you can see it's uh, included with with our solution so we don't have to worry about adding a new script from the jquery.com so let's navigate to index.css.html and remove everything let's add uh, some text okay so next part i'm going to create a input type text okay and giving it to a name or uh, id that's going to be my text it's 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 because um uh we need it to access in jquery i'm adding a button as well okay so we can do the click we need to submit okay next part i have to create a paragraph tag and uh, give it to class and then giving your id we can do that but just to show you like how it's it works i'm just going to create a class my text output okay next part just let's see how it will look like in the browser okay okay 
let's create a script type javascript creating a function that my firm this is a very common name that I use <laughs> so so this is I'm commenting also if you if you want to get like you get this this directory of the solution you can grab it from my website so this is the name of the function and I'm going to access the text first so I will I will use like a variable text equals to text value equals to okay so just use my text id so i'm using hash because it's the id okay so let's let's explain it why i'm using hash so has is indicate the id and dot indicate the class name as you already know like id is unique and the a class it can be used multiple times in a, in a single page i'm not going too deep in, in this system so two more things like a dot val method to access the value and dot html to grab uh, the HTML inside of the HTML tag this is a two different methodology to access any HTML so let's do another part like I'm filling the data inside my uh, uh, paragraph tag so because this is class so I'm using dot my text output dot HTML as a just just told you and this is the value so i'm going to explain it as well html to access okay so any tag like this div b tag or maybe html tag this all for like you have to use html if you want to access the inner part of the tag okay let's let's check in the browser okay let's fill the information okay so it's not working maybe I haven't used the my click function or something else it could be I'm just checking the console if it fails no it's not fail let's go back and check what I'm doing so okay I haven't used this so I have to use You can see what I'm doing. I'm just doing some stupid thing. I'm just putting the input text on click. That's not going to work any anyhow. But I'm still going to try because I want to show you guys like how when when it's going to work. Okay, nothing works because I I added that in input type text. So what what you have to do? Make sure like you the, you are adding the functionality in on on the button click not on the text box click text box has different uh, event triggers next i'm going to print it based on when i click it's going to print okay mm -hmm. this is working I hope you understand how to use the basic jQuery in 
uh, uh, MVC or any project if you want a raw HTML then you can grab from from the like uh, going going to W3 school and find a raw HTML then copy pasting the jQuery file from jQuery.org and then utilizing it so this is the this is the shortest method I, I use to manipulate the DOM elements using jQuery okay thank you so much